What's up everybody, this is Fingerboard Gaming here today, and we got a very special unboxing of Teak Tuning and Doki Dex. Now recently I ordered, well, of course I ordered a deck from Doki Dex, and I ordered some hardware from Teak, and it's going to be a new little off-camera, on-camera setup, because I still write for finger space, so I'm still going to be doing most of my videos, if not all my videos, with their stuff. But, for my own personal use, we got the Crystal Ducky, and I'm going to see if I can get that little duck on camera. There we go. Isn't that a cute little duck? And of course they sent me three of these little stickers right here. This says Ducky Dex. Well, Duck Dex. I don't know why I always add the E to it. Ducky, Ducky. And then the little like mini logos saying duck decks. We got both original and frosted tape. And then this that comes with a code. There we go. There we go. Let me know all about duck decks. Best appearance, avoid air bubbles and fingerprints on the adhesive. They can't show through the tape. Don't peel up the tape to reposition since the tape is transparent. This can leave marks in the adhesive affecting the appearance. And use a new slash clean razor blade to cut off the excess tape, not a file. Because it's rubber, it doesn't cut like foam. Lesson learned when I did my clear setup, which is... I, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Lesson learned when I did this. Because this came out very choppy all along the edges. Because I tried going scrape, 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 scrape. When I should have just got something nice and clean, and went cut, cut, cut with a nice sharp blade. But I didn't. Lesson learned. This one's going to go better. And now, for Teak Tuning, I actually got some of their newest products. And wow, this is, this is hard to open. Because it keeps ripping where I'm supposed to rip it at. There we go. I'm just going to drop this out. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, UPS slip. Even though it's USPS. Alright, we got the brand new product by Teak Tuning. The Fatties. These are thicker wheels than your regular. And they're actually a mix of poly and CNC. So they're supposed to have a different feel. We're going to see how that works. And also, their newest trucks. No, I'm not talking about those, uh, what are those, Eureka trucks? But their traditional Prodigy trucks with the um, inverted kingpin. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it's blurry, but you can see it. So we're going to set these babies up and give you a little show of what it looks like. Just finishing tightening up this right here. With my Fingerspace screwdriver. You can only get these at Fingerspaceco.com. Has a little spinny thing. So screwing in screws is significantly easier. And I mean significantly. Double check. Okay, we're going to get it tight. Boom, there it is. And you, <laughs> you can see the base plate through the deck. That's pretty dope. Alright, now get the wheels on. We're going to slide these on, I suppose. That's the front. This is always the part I hate. Turn it down like this. It is getting these little lock nuts on. I'm going to try it the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way, we just put the lock nut like this, give it a little spin with our finger, and then. Okay, that works. Wheel number two. 
Wrong tool. Well, that is too tight. There. Perfect. Next lock nut. I don't know why I keep trying to go for the finger space screwdriver, knowing that's not going to accomplish anything with the lock nuts. Okay, last one. Got a little bit of wiggle room, but not a whole lot. And look at how thick these boys are. Like, that looks good. Like, yellow on yellow. And the color blends in so, so well. I'm gonna grip this baby up off camera, then show you a finished product. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. We got the trucks, the wheels, the deck, the grip, and the teak logo, along with the duck. Because, you know, how to give the board a little something-something. Now, if you look real close, I don't know if you can see it. I did kind of blemish it a little bit with the adhesive tape. So it doesn't look as clean as it could have looked if I just never gripped it. That's kind of my, that's my fault. So, yeah. First time using ducky tape on a clear deck. It, it can be rough. It can be rough. But like I said, that, that was my fault. I did not like put it on smooth enough. I guess I should have done it like maybe like lift this up, cut the tip off, start that way, and then kind of like peel it back. That probably would have went a whole lot smoother. But overall, still happy with it. You can still see, you can still see through and everything like that. It still looks nice and clear. It's just kind of bubbly. Oops. And now. The Ollie test. Wow, that was actually. There we go. Ooh. See, it's got pop, it's got control. Overall, I'm happy with it. If there's another company you want me to try out in the future or look into, just let me know. Tag me in the comments down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye.